Hello everyone, I'm Dan Salzer, the Athletics Communications Assistant for Broadcasting. Every year the Athletic Department recognizes students for their work behind the scenes and student athletes for their contributions in the game, in the classroom, and in the community with the Department Awards. Join us now as the Athletic Department Administration introduce this year's winners. The Peter S. Coffrin Award is presented to a student who provides both service and support to Plymouth State Athletics. This year's winner is graduate student Jacob Scheinman, an assistant in the Athletics Communications Office. Jacob Scheinman was a key component to the Athletics Communications staff when the Panthers began intercollegiate competition in January. His flexibility and attention to detail was imperative as the department attempted to compress a full year of athletics competition into the spring semester. Jacob was invaluable to the athletics communications staff in a year where we were severely limited in our ability to hire student workers. He learned and mastered all of our stat keeping programs to cover nearly every home sporting event we had starting in January. He provided in-game statistics for men's and women's hockey, men's and women's lacrosse, baseball, softball, field hockey, women's soccer, and volleyball, while also working in the office regularly, preparing public address announcer scripts, organizing home and visiting team rosters, and accumulating statistics for every sport that partook in intercollegiate competition. There is no way our office would have survived the spring semester without Jacob's contributions. Congratulations, Jacob. The John P. Clark Award is presented to the top true freshman based on academic distinction and athletic excellence. This year's winner of the John P. Clark Award is Dawson Hill of the Men's Alpine Ski Team. Freshman Dawson Hill from Calgary, Alberta posted top 10 finishes in three of his six carnival races, including a sixth place showing in the slalom at the UNH Carnival. The rookie qualified to the National Collegiate Ski Championships where he finished 23rd in slalom and 27th in the giant slalom against the best ski racers in all three collegiate divisions. He was equally impressive in the classroom, finishing his first year with better than a 3.9 GPA. From head ski coach Trevor Hamilton, Dawson had a fantastic first season on the hill. A consistent carnival skier as a freshman, he qualified for the NCAA championships and had the third fastest time in the second run of slaloms at NCAAs. Congratulations, Dawson. The Dorothy Dot Deal Award is presented annually to a female student athlete who exhibits leadership for the advancement of women's equity in sports and physical education and who demonstrates a strength of character and responsibility to others. This year's winner, senior goalkeeper from our field hockey team, Jess Disler. Senior Jess Disler from Brookfield, New Hampshire was the starting goalkeeper for the field hockey team each of the last three years. A strong role model and leader for younger teammates, even during times of adversity, she posted a career goals against average of less than 2.0 in over 2,000 minutes. From her head coach, Bonnie Lord, Jess is a true definition of what Dot Deal would love in a student athlete. She never missed a beat in this pandemic season. Despite going in and out of quarantine, she stayed, a con she stayed in constant communication with our first year goalies, supporting, encouraging, and designing drills for them. Jess had been starting goalie for the past four years and has worked very hard every day. Most of all, she was a great role model with her always positive attitude, never ending work ethic, and assistance and support of every player on the field. She improved every single season, and while we will never know how she might have added to her accolades in a normal 2020 year, I am willing to wager that it would have been grit, determination, and love of the team. Congratulations, Jess Disler, this year's Dorothy Dot Deal Award winner. The Brad Wilby Award is presented annually to a female and male student athlete 
who are at least a junior academically and who demonstrate leadership, strength of character, and service to others, both on the field and off the field, and in all aspects of their lives. The female recipient of the Brad Wilby Award is Alexa Price, representing women's volleyball. Head coach Joan Forge describes Alexa as majoring in biochemistry and has a 3.8 GPA. She was voted on by her teammates to be the captain of the volleyball team. Her leadership skills, work ethic, and healthy lifestyle is, is exemplary. She will be reaching the milestone of 2,000 career assists this fall. This is a feat only a few volleyball players have achieved over our 25 year history. Off the court, Alexa is a tutor in general chemistry, organic chemistry, and physics, and works as a teaching assistant in the general chemistry labs, preparing the solutions and materials needed to conduct the lab. She also observes students doing lab work and helps by answering questions. Alexa is an environmental advocate and loves to help people consider more ways to be more eco-friendly, as well as being vocal about advocating for marginalized groups. Congratulations, Alexa. Our male athlete winner of the Brad Wilby Award, representing men's soccer, is Linus Lindbergh. Coach Rob Wright describes Linus has been a truly outstanding member of the men's soccer program. A two-year captain and four-year starter in goal, Linus personifies the finest qualities that Brady Wilby brought to our program as a goalkeeper nearly two decades ago. As a leader on the field, Linus was crucial in steering a very young group through this difficult past year and helping to keep them engaged and motivated. Off the field, he maintained the highest of academic standards, graduating with a 3.88 GPA and major in finance with a minor in economics. Linus was recognized as an LEC All Academic Honoree and listed on the LEC Academic Honor Roll every season he was eligible. He was also part of four straight United Soccer Coaches National Team Academic Award winning teams. Off the field, Linus provided service to the PSU community throughout his four years and in a variety of ways, including working as a key member of the hockey event staff, being a co-founder and president of the PSU International Business Club, and working as an international outreach specialist, helping to coordinate recruitment, trips for admission staff, and working directly with international applicants. Finally, Linus showed incredible strength of character and selfishness this year on several occasions putting the needs of his teammates ahead of his own, most notably to make sure that several of them would be able to play in our spring exhibition games at his own expense. Congratulations, Linus. The John C. Foley Leadership Award is given to a male and female senior student athlete who have exhibited outstanding leadership during their athletic careers at Plymouth State. The male John C. Foley Leadership Award goes to Matt Tassoni from the football team. Senior Matt Tassoni from Walpole, Mass, a defensive back from the Panthers football program was involved in a multiple community service projects in addition to leading by example in his work and preparation on the football field. From head football coach Paul Cassonia, Matt has been an excellent student during his career. Graduating magna cum laude, he was involved in numerous community service projects during his time as a student and student teacher this past semester. He is one of the grittiest and toughest players we have had, overcoming injury and health difficulties to continue his career. He is a tireless worker who got it done in the weight room and led by example. He played numerous positions in the defensive backfield and on special teams, always doing anything that was asked of him to help the team. We have had few, if any, players who maximize their ability to the extent that Matt did. Congratulations, Matt. The female John C. Foley Leadership Award goes to Maggie McCarthy from the women's tennis team.
Senior Maggie McCarthy from Marin, Massachusetts, a two-time captain on the women's tennis team, earned all LEC first team honors in both singles and doubles play after leading the Panthers to the finals of the LEC tournament for the second time in three years. From head women's tennis coach Barbara rolski Willett. Maggie has been a leader for the women's tennis team for two years now, this year under the difficult conditions of COVID. She has led us academically, graduating cum laude and receiving the ITA Student Athlete Award and the LEC Fall All Academic Honors. She leads on the court by playing in the number one singles and doubles position, making all LEC in both. She always does her best and does it with exemplary sport womanship. Off the court, she works for admissions and has been instrumental in helping recruited student athletes commit to PSU. She was also the team's Panther Award winner this year. Congratulations, Maggie. The Van Hartman Vernon Kelly Award is presented each year to a student athlete with at least two years of intercollegiate experience on the basis of citizenship and scholarship. This year, we have co-winners. First up, women's lacrosse graduate student, Sarah Jakes. Sarah Jakes was a five-year starter and two-time captain on the women's lacrosse team anchoring a defense that reached the Little East Conference Tournament Championship game for a seventh straight year. From head women's lacrosse coach Sandy Bridgman, Sarah excels both on and off the field and is an incredible representative of the Plymouth State women's lacrosse program. She's been a four-year starter, five if you include the shortened 2020 season, a team captain, and maintained a perfect GPA throughout her academic career, both undergraduate and graduate. This year, Sarah was also employed as a full-time fifth grade teacher at the Southwick School in Tilton and also coaches a youth lacrosse team in her spare time. Congratulations, Sarah. Our second winner is men's soccer senior Eric Armskog. Eric Armskog controlled the midfield for the men's soccer team, filling a starting role for all four years, while also serving as a two-year captain. Head men's soccer coach Rob Wright had this to say about Eric. Eric leaves the men's soccer program as a four-year starter, two-time captain, and top academic performer of our graduating class with a near-perfect GPA. As a scholar, he was able to maintain his exceptionally high standards, even while taking additional online studies through Harvard University in addition to his studies at PSU, and all with English as his second language. As a citizen of the community, Eric was a key member of the PSU competitive sales team, co-founder and president of the PSU International Business Club, and was a marketing assistant for the Office of the President, working in public relations, integrated marketing, social media marketing, internal communications, and event planning. Finally, Eric also assisted admissions as an international outreach specialist. His motivation, drive, and dedication to representing both himself and PSU in the best possible light is second to none. Congratulations, Eric. The Janet Nell Award is an award that is presented annually to the most outstanding female athlete at Plymouth State University. And this year's Janet Nell Award goes to Matilda Nellis of the women's ski team. Matilda earned All-American status in giant slalom, first NCAA All-American in program history. She qualified for the NCAA championships and finished fifth in the giant slalom. The fifth place finish is the best for any skier, male or female, at the NCAA Championships. Team's top finisher in five of six carnivals, and she placed seventh or better in every race, both carnivals and the NCAAs. She posted three top two carnival finishes, including a win in slalom at the UNH Carnival, PSU's only carnival win, men or women. 
Her coach, Trevor Hamilton, said that Matilda made PSU history by becoming the first NCAA All-American first team at the NCAA Skiing Championships. She also represented PSU at the U.S. Alpine Championships in Aspen, Colorado. She single-handedly brought the women's team to new levels in many aspects, as well as maintained a 4.0 GPA with English as her second language. We would like to congratulate Matilda Nellis for this very prestigious award. Our final award of the season is the Paul E. Errold Award, presented annually to the Outstanding Male Athlete of the Year. This year, the Paul E. Errold Award goes to Terrell Lewis, who played both football and track and field. Terrell earned All-American status in outdoor track. He qualified for the national championship meet for outdoor track in the 110 meter hurdles. He had the third fastest seed time in the country. He finished in third place at the NCAAs and was named USTF CCCA All New England in the 110 meter hurdles. He reset the 110 meter hurdle school record three different times and won the Dartmouth Invitational that hosted all Division I athletes. He was second place at the NEIC AAA Outdoor Championships. His coach, John Osler, said that Terrell excelled on the track in limited action in 2021. He made the most of his few opportunities in the 110 meter hurdles, resetting his own school record three times. As a two-sport athlete, Terrell spent most of the spring balancing football practices with track practices and meets. Just as the school year ended, Terrell's season took off. He began his postseason with impressive performances, stepping up in weight class at Dartmouth College and NEI CAAA championships. Those solid races gave him confidence to achieve a massive personal best and storm into the NCAA championship meet as the third ranked hurdler in the country. He capped the spring with an All-American performance matching his program record in the event finals. Congratulations to Terrell Lewis on the Paul E. Errold Award. Congratulations to all of this year's winners. Each of them is a true example of what it means to be a Panther. Until next time, remember, once a Panther, always a Panther.